So this is just a quick video to show you how the quizzes work. So once you start the quiz, you will have 30 minutes to complete it. You can see up here how much time you've got left. Now with the questions, you can check your answers as you go. For each incorrect answer, there will be a 33% penalty for that part. You can see your total marks for each of the questions up here. So let's say I enter an incorrect answer for my first part. I can then check it. And I can see it's incorrect as I have received zero marks for that question. This is saying zero out of four still. Now, let's say I do that on my calculator and my calculator is telling me that the answer is 1.567164. So I want to enter that in here. Now, everything in the question is given to three significant figures. So I can just answer, give my answer to three significant figures. It doesn't matter if I give it to more than three significant figures, I can still be marked correct. So let's check that now. And you can see my mark has now increased, so I know that I got that part correct. So I work out the second part and I end up with 2.38. I can just wait until it's worked out how it interprets it. I'll check this and I answer that correctly. My mark has now gone up and the third part I enter as 43.9. And I can see that I got that correct because my mark went up. So I lost a third of the marks for this first part here for this question. So then I'll go on to the next question. Okay, so I open up the second question and I realize for this second question, there's some constants that I need. I need to know the specific heat of water to answer this part. So I'm going to want my constant sheet. So the data sheet is provided here with a lot of the constants that you're going to need on it. So here we're looking for the specific heat of water, 4,186 joules per kilogram per Kelvin. So I will need to use that one to answer this question here. So let's say I do my calculation and I get an incorrect answer. I know it's incorrect because it's telling me that I've got zero marks so far for the question. So I do the calculation again and get another incorrect answer. You can still see it's incorrect. So this first part is worth 1.33 of the marks because there's three parts and it's out of four in total. So let's say on my third try, I'll try and enter the correct answer. With this question, 380 can have either two or three significant figures. So I always just assume it has the maximum possible number of significant figures because I'll never lose marks for giving an answer with too many significant figures. So I want to give my final answer with at least three significant figures. Okay, so I got it correct on my third try. So I get the, a third of the marks for this part. So 1.33 divided by 3 gives me 0 0.44, which is where that comes from. So now I've got this part right, I'll go on and answer these other parts. Now let's say that I just couldn't work out how to do one of these parts and the next part required that answer. Well, if I'd had my first answer of 1 here and the second part required the answer to that part, then I would just use the answer that I'd typed in here and it would know that I had done that and I wouldn't lose marks for that mistake up there twice. The stack will take your answer from the first part and if it's needed for the second part, it'll substitute it in. So this means it's a good idea to answer the parts in order because stack substitutes from the earlier parts into the latter parts, not from the latter parts into the earlier parts. So let's finish answering these questions.
Okay, and when I've answered them to the best of my ability, I'm going to go finish attempt. And if there's still time left, it'll check with me that I really do want to finish. But if I'm convinced that this is the best I can do, I'll go submit all and finish. And once I've done that, it's going to give me feedback. So for the questions which I got incorrect, it's going to tell me how to do the questions so that I can learn from that and not make the same mistake again. So I encourage you to use the practice quiz a number of times to get used to the system so that it doesn't come as a shock to you when you try the actual tests.